This week started out on a gloomy note as Nigeria lost two eminent citizens, Alaji Adobayero, the MAR of Kano, and Professor Dora Akunyili, former Minister of Information. As the news filtered through, hundreds of citizens took to social media to share tributes to both leaders. Following the burial of Ado Bayero, the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Sanusi Lamido Sanusi, was appointed the new Emir of Kano. <laughs> South Africa was in the news quite a bit this week. First, we shared that the country was the only African country listed in the top 25 most attractive countries for foreign direct investment. Then, we discussed that South African Airways is working to jumpstart the West African arm of its business by investing in Togo-based airline ASCII. The airline plans to partner with Ghanaian investors, buy a stake in the airline and then move it to Accra, Ghana. And then South Africa and Nigeria plan to work together to develop artisanal and small-scale gold mining in Nigeria. In the terms of the partnership, Nigeria will acquire both mining equipment and expertise from South Africa. This is hoped to improve the country's mining technology, commodity pricing and the contribution of this precious metal to the national GDP. Within the week, we also brought you a moving video of 6,000 children in Abuja, Nigeria, who came together to do a dance for peace. The video threw more light on the necessity of a safe learning environment and a society devoid of fear and anarchy. The World Cup has started and we can't wait to cheer our respective countries on as they do their best to win the gold. Hopefully, we'll have more positive results than what we got when Nigeria played its last friendly against the USA. The game ended 2-1 in favor of the Americans. On the other hand, the Super Falcons, Nigeria's award-winning senior football squad, weren't joking when they promised to give it their all in their second leg qualifier against Rwanda. The Falcons beat the Shi Amavubi 8-0 to secure an aggregate of 12-1 and clinch a place at the Africa Women's Championship. And that's it on our news roundup for the week.